and decisions what you can do is driven off a role or some permission based on that role. There are three different roles or groups in decisions. An account can have permissions of the roles of an administrator, designer, or a user. The group with the most access to decisions is the administrators, since this role is able to manage and grant permissions to the users and designers or specific accounts. Administrators also have the ability to set up different portal functions and settings. This could be scheduling a job to run at specific dates or times, or even setting up database connections and integrations. Administrator accounts have access to pretty much do it all on decisions. Currently, I am logged into an account with an administrator role, which is how I'm able to access the systems folder, create new accounts, and determine roles and permissions. You will see that two more accounts are being created. One is grouped as a designer role, and the other is grouped as a user role. The designer role is focused around designing and building applications and decisions. As I log out of the administrator role and log into the designer role, you will see that designers still have permission to access the decision studio and portal just like the administrators, but no longer have the systems folder and the tree folder on the left. This is because designers are those accounts that are in the studio actively designing and editing flows, rules, reports, and dashboards. The most general role is the all users group, which is also known as the end users. As I switch over to the user account that was just created, you will notice that there is no option to switch to the decision studio. This is because an end user only has permission to interact with and use the applications built in decisions, and the studio is where applications are created. Users can do things in the decisions portal, such as working tasks, submitting form requests, initiating processes, viewing and downloading reports, and sending emails, for example. If I log back into my administrator role, Decisions even offers the ability to create guest accounts. A guest account is an optional user account without credentials in the system, so although they cannot log in, they can be assigned tasks to interact with via email responses or forms. Guest accounts are often used to get non-portal users, such as an outside vendor for example, to engage in a flow. Not only can accounts be set to specific roles, but folders can also be set with certain permissions as well. Administrator roles have the ability to set permissions for any folder and decisions. Each folder can be set up to only allow certain accounts or certain groups to access the folder and view the content. When specifying an account or group to have access to a folder, there are also options for different permissions that can be selected, such as just using the folder, being able to edit the content in the folder, or even having permission to delete or add other entities to the folder. Overall, assigning different roles and permissions and decisions allows organizations to manage accounts and what tasks each position is able to do.